Hello everyone, I'm Xu Kun Lu, working as a PDRA in the Faraday Modiscan Modeling Project. Today I'm going to give you a quick introduction of my work on 3D microstructure design of lithium-ion battery electrodes assisted by X-ray nanocomputed tomography and modeling. This is the content I will cover today. First off, I will briefly talk about the long-standing imaging challenge of the battery electrodes and how we addressed it, followed by image-based modeling to understand the role of microstructure heterogeneity in the battery performance. Lastly, the effect of hierarchical microstructures will be discussed. For those who are not very familiar with X-ray CT, this image shows the typical setup. It consists of X-ray source, sample stage, and a detector. Around 2,000 projections are acquired while the sample is being rotated over 360 degrees. These projections are then reconstructed to the 3D electrode and microstructure. Using a resolution of 15 micron, we can get the microscopic structure information of the cylindrical cell and visualize the layered electrodes. As the resolution increases to 64 nanometers, the spatial arrangement of the cathode, the separator, and anode can be seen. Judging by the grayscale difference, we can easily segment out the NMC particles, the micro pores, but we are not able to distinguish between the carbon binder and the nanopores due to the low resolution and contrast uh, in this domain when this uh, low X-ray attenuating carbon binder phase scanned with this high X-ray attenuating MC particles. We cope this challenge by using a second scan, we call it the dual scan superimposition technique with a higher resolution, so we can reconstruct the full details of the CBD phase and replace the original low resolution region with this data to fully reconstruct the 3D microstructure of the electrode. Assisted by this dual scan superimposition technique, now we can explore the 3D microstructure and the battery performance relationship. Visualizing this 3D max structure of NMC electrodes, we can now uh, see the uneven distribution of the pore morphology and the size. Conducting the CFD simulation, the ion flux shows that some region has really high flux, this corresponding to the locally low porosity and the pore diameter region. Identify each individual particles, we can extract the particle morphological inform information such as the particle size, the orientation and the shape. At each depth of the uh, electrode, we see the large variation of the particle size ranging from 4 micron to 15 microns. The shape of the particle also ranges from spherical to flake, somehow related to the particle uh, size. They are randomly oriented in the um, volume of the electrodes. This plot shows the tortuosity factor distribution as a function to the separator uh, position, and we see it increases from the low value to the higher value. And also we see in the leasing iron flux um, direction, the tortuosity is slightly higher than the other two. This is related to the heterogeneity of the pore phase. As we can see here, this is a large fluctuation of the uh, porosity and the part of pore size distribution. Combining these two information, we can extract the Brugman exponent uh, from the th in the three orthogonal planes of the pore phase. This is helpful for the continuum modeling as well. In the last part of my presentation, let's explore some hierarchical microstructures and see how it affects the red capability. By using morphological operation based on the original electrodes, we can reduce the particle size at the, uh, in the vicinity of the separator but still maintain the same volume fraction. This leads to increase the surface area. So we can see that the local mass transfer property is increased, evidenced by the smoother gradient of the electrolyte concentration compared to the original sample. Also, we see a more uniform distribution of the charge transfer current density compared to the original sample. This is linked to a lower polarization in this area. Also, this smaller particle or gradient particle design can help to uh, utilize the active material better, as we can see the different state of lithiation compared to, compared to the original sample. And all of these Factors combined together, this leads to an improved red capability of the graded uh, design compared to the original sample. We also can explore the effect of the pore size or porosity distribution. Here, we expand the pore size 
by 250 nanometers at three locations away from the separator and check how it affects the red capability. As the result shows here, the first case has the highest red capability and no major difference between the other two cases. This indicates that the red capability of the electrode is primarily determined by the pore morphology in the vicinity of the separator instead of other places. Even though in the other two cases we see the electrolyte concentration is higher at the bottom half of the electrode, but still the red capability is inferior to the first case. So the advantage of the gradient structure is highlighted by comparing the performance of the electrode with various different various geometries, as you can see here, as prepared, thick, high porosity, and the two gradient structures. We see the obvious improvement of the red capability and the energy density as well, uh, compared to the original as prepared sample. Uh, the, the highest porosity sample gives the better, uh, the best red capability, but it normally sacrifices the volumetric um, uh, energy density. We also can link the red capability with the stabilization heterogeneity, not only between the particles, but also along the uh, depth direction to uh, identify what is the limiting factor uh, of this red capability. It's also essential to combine the electrodes, the, the full cell as well, because we need to con consider the uh, red capability resistance from the other side so that it will give us more idea how to balance the two electrodes and to optimize the max structure. Here is the summary of my presentation today. First, Dual scan superimposition techniques enables full microstructure reconstruction of the NMC electrodes. Heterogeneous lysation is observed due to the particle size distribution, local and global mass transport limitation. In the end, the red performance is primarily determined by the microstructure parameters in the vicinity of the separator, and the hierarchically structured electrodes are promising candidates for the automotive batteries. Then I would like to thank my collaborators collaborators all over the world that give me a lot of support in this research process. Thank you very much for your listening and I'm looking forward to answering your questions on the 30th of April. Thank you. Bye.